Ah! Agu! Amen! Greetings, family. My name is Takesha Henderson. I'm actually going to tell you my name, my birth name. Um, you can call me Yakisha. I was born on a Thursday. I am originally from Memphis, Tennessee, um, but I currently live in Texas, outside of the Dallas area. And the reason that I will tell you a little bit about my journey when it comes to uh, coming to the motherland. Ever since I was a little girl, I have always been interested in Africa because I noticed in school it was always information in the books, pictures in the books was always about white people always about mm -hmm. Europeans and I never could find anything that I could identify with. So I would spend my time researching about Egypt, which I know now the name is Kemet. And so I would even teach myself the hieroglyphics, um, the writings on the pyramid. And I gained a lot of inspiration from our ancestors because I said, they had to be very, very, very intelligent and skillful to make those pyramids. And then nobody, to this day, can duplicate what they created during that time. And so, my journey started as a little girl. Very young on nobody, it was nobody in my family that encouraged me or anything like that in concerning Africa. It was the ancestors. And, um, and so it's been a long journey. Um, it's been me, myself, and I uh, teaching myself, taking the opportunity to learn about my people. <coughs> and before I contacted Africa for the Africans um, organization, I, I went through a long, lengthy research because I'm the type of person I like to check the uh, credibility of any organization because there's a lot of people out here that's scamming our people and I don't play. I like to have fun, I smile, but you know, right is right, wrong is wrong. I don't care who you are, your ethnicity, I don't care, you know. So I wanted to make sure I was looking for consistency. I was looking for detailed information. I was looking for some type of track record of the organization and I would look at all the YouTube videos. We're talking about all the way back from the beginning. I, look, I looked at so many videos, I got tired. But I was trying to find something. <laughs> There's gotta be a loophole somewhere. Some, you know, somebody gotta say something. You know, I, I'm the type, I read all the comments from the people in the videos. And, 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 and then I'm looking for a pose. I'm like, it gotta be somebody, get them. You know, it's gotta be somebody that's gonna try to get at the organization because uh, honestly, typically, that's what we tend to do with our own people. Yes. You know, we tend not to be supportive, and we tend to find something wrong. And I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything. So, um, if you if you live in the states, you know how it is to trying to save money. It's, it's not easy. So, what I had to do is I had to take on some other opportunities. Uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, <laughs> and, and that's how I pay for my trip to come to Africa. So it's not easy coming here, but I was making an investment, an investment in the legacy of the lineage of my people, my people. So it's very personal for me to come to the continent for me to return back home, return back through the door of no return. Yeah. I came back home, oh, you understand? Yes. Oh, I know, right? All right. Ah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to have a come to, come to uh, Jesus moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it has been very, it's been very fulfilling. But since I've been here, I have not one time worried about anything. There has been no stress. It has been lifted off of my shoulders, just been dropped. And I mean, I haven't looked to see if anybody was looking strangely at me. Um, 
Now, you know, if I ride by the police, is, is he gonna come get me? I'm looking in the rearview mirror. I know he's pulling out right now. I know he saw me. He gotta be coming after me. Just this paranoia of just living in the United States. Yes, yes. Of always thinking that, you know, they, they coming for me. It's only a matter of time when they're gonna come. You know, no matter how much I obey the law, they still could come for me just because of who I am. So um, it's, it's just amazing being here amongst my people. I mean, my, my, my brother's here. I mean, I'm just it's so excited, you know. I, I mean, they, they are so beautiful. They, I mean, they, they are very beautiful people here in Ghana and I think just all of Africa, you know, we are all connected. I don't see any difference in them. You know, versus me, it doesn't matter where we live, we all are the same, we are one people. Um, we may have different dialects, different cultures, but we still, we're one people. And we have to stand together and rise together as one people. And what I bring to, um, came here to Ghana is that my family has what they call a green thumb. Uh, it's predominantly on my father's side of the family. Well, they pretty much, they can grow anything. So I'm like a gardener, a landscaper, I'm a hands-on individual. I, I get dirty. So you might see me, I can put bricks up, I can do masonry work, I can do I can do anything that I, I choose to do. That's what's up, no you damsel know? in distress. So, you know, I'm no I'm not a damsel in distress. You understand? That's something that was created from the other people. Right. Our women work. We work. We make things happen in our community. You know, we, we you know, I tell people I'm a warrior princess too, so don't let the smooth taste fool you. <laughs> if I have to regulate, I'm a regulate. You know, you know, it's it's all about order and respecting authority and we have to respect our kings. We need that support. It's all about order of the family, natural order of things. And um so as someone that comes from that background of uh vegetation, gardening, and things like that. I have a very close relationship with nature. And I plan on working in the health and wellness. I um, deal with, I have a herbal apothecary at home. Uh, my, my children have seen me mix up different things. I make natural skincare products, soap, lotion, um, any type of uh, sass for the skin, uh, anything that has to do with any type of ailments of the body, I take the time out to research and find out the truth. I'm a truth seeker. To find out the truth about um, herbs and essential oils and different medicines, and not just from today, but actually go back to our ancestors and revive those remedies that we have forgotten. We, we are a generation, and even from my parents, I ask some of them, some of them do not remember. So what I do is, is that I seek out to find the information of old remedies from our ancestors, because we are healers. We can heal ourselves. But I'm gonna be the forerunner. I'm gonna take that opportunity to do all the research that I can, to spend the man hours to learn everything I can so I can share that information. So uh, everybody that's here or that's a part of the group, I will be reaching out to you all through the What's Up app, giving information. I'm going to create a, a herbal app for any ailment in your body. All you have to do is enter that ailment in and that herb will pop up. You, you even have um, the uh, recipes or what have you for that particular ailment because that I have been mandated to do that. It's not something that, you know, I just chose as a hobby. This is something that has been told to me um, uh, in the church. You know, as a Christian, I was in the church. You know, people walk up to me that didn't know me. They would tell me I was a healer, which I kind of felt, I kind of knew it, but I never just really just got into it until I got older and started knowing thyself. That's why I always talk to people about knowing thyself. Know yourself first. Know who you are before you can invest in anybody else. You have to invest in yourself first. So I had to take care of me, get myself grounded, and now I'm willing to take the forefront to help my people. And it's and it's not about money. Money gonna come. It's easy. I can get money. But it's all about lifting my people up, elevating my people, and helping us 
to overcome these lies and this deception that's out here in society today because it's out here and I'm not concerned about trying to awaken anybody else but my people you know I'm not anti but I am pro I'm pro African I am for my people and so I've been enjoying my time here in Ghana it has been awesome magnificent the food is off the chain. Yes. Especially the local food, the street food. Get you, get you some fish pie when you come. Get you some sweet plantain when you come. That's all I'm saying. Get you some. It is delicious. And the people are very nice. I mean, it's your family. Okay? It's your family. You're going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. And Mr. Bo Money, Tahimba, he's gonna take care of you. He's gonna yes, make sure you yes. are taken care of. Trust me, this brother, I don't think he even get two hours of sleep. I don't think he rests at all. But you will be taken care of when you come on the trip with the Africa for the Africans. You will enjoy every waking moment of it. So make sure you eat your Wheaties, take your vitamins. Get some rest. Get good rest before you come on this tour because you will be working. Right. All day, every day, from sun up to sundown. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, family. You all have a great one. Take care.